Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today, number two of an eight part series, driving cross country. I have exited Georgia and am now in Alabama. Just taking a look at the nooks, the crannies, the lesser traveled areas. No interstates, no freeways, no major attractions, no theme parks, just soaking in the ambiance of Americana. I'm standing on some sort of abandoned seating area looking over the water. Let's get moving. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Looking at the road atlas, the lower portions right around in here is where I will be focusing my energy, making my way Kind of in to this general section and then darting upward northbound just a bit and then later on today end up right about over here this is all approximate give or take but this is a good good way to get an overview I get too far. Need a little gas. Fuel is necessity. The town square in Clayton. Very peaceful. There is a small child that's having a bad day, however. Slightly faded out by the sun, but you can see parts of this mural here that were painted on the wall. Pretty good gust. Keeping the flags moving properly. Check out the angles and dimensions of this home. Looking at the placard, appears as if it's referred to as the Octagon House. Built between the years of 1859 and 1861 by Benjamin Franklin Petty, who was a carriage and furniture merchant and a native of New York, came here and settled in Clayton. It's located just in eyeshot of the main square just a few feet away, in fact. And just a short walk down is the cemetery. After randomly meeting the mayor at the local newspaper office, she told me of a pretty interesting item in here. A whiskey bottle shaped tombstone. The inscription reads 1863 is when this gentleman passed away. I was told he was an alcoholic and his wife said if he didn't stop drinking, she would do this. That way, even in death, he would be known for his actions. Continued on to Louisville, the old school, established 1916. Feel as if it's worth seeing from different angles. It's a very impressive structure. It goes a lot farther back than I expected. A couple add-ons and additions. Climbing that would be fun to look peek in those top windows, but I don't really know if that staircase is structurally sound. Looks pretty rusted out. May or may not be free candy in the cellar. Don't go. It's a trap. Near this site, which is now all trees and shrubbery, stood the Pike County Courthouse from 1822 to 1827. Gotta love these informative placards. Learn quite a bit if you notice them off the side of the roads. We're in pine cone territory. If you don't watch yourself, you could fall from the branches. 
hit you on the head. They're everywhere. It's like probably six or seven dozen down here on the ground. It's almost like a, a miniature tree that's fallen from a tree. Very decorative, but kind of prickly. If you touch it in the right spot, it could leave a mark. They celebrated their bicentennial back in 2017. Even though it was incorporated in 1887, it was settled back in 1817. This could have been a railroad station depot. Not seeing any tracks. Maybe it was moved here at one point. That's my best educated guess. How's it going? Enjoying your grazing out there? It's a beautiful day for it. Especially by a waterway like that. I right, just wanted to stop off and say hello. Just passing through. Okay, I see, I see you're preoccupied. Not really in a, in a talkative mood. Right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get moving. Even though Carol's drive-in is no longer quite operational, and the yard is being used for wood storage, still has that antique sweet Coca-Cola signage. You see that pretty often, which is also evident at the drugstore here in Clio. The pork festival must take place here. It makes me happy to know that nearly every community has a painting similar to this one, just to summarize the history and what has taken place in their area. All kinds of classic vehicles, even on the opposite shore. Quite a few over there. What's happening? What are you fellas up to? Oh, you're just eating too, huh? Just doing, getting a little chow there? The grass? All right. I'll leave you be. See you later, donkeys. Quite a few classic items on this property. That's a rather unique looking city hall right there, isn't it? Continued on just a bit. Solitude. Where I currently am. This homestead has seen better days. The drapes are still in the window. The thing that's fascinating about these places is people shared memories and moments of their life inside them. Sometimes it's easy to forget when you see a broken down structure like this. It's starting to get pretty cloudy up there. Some cumulonimbus action formulating. My first impression is that was a bank here at the cross streets. The more I look at it, I think maybe it was just a grocery store of sorts. There are bars on the windows, however. Pretty 
much have all this to myself. I haven't seen another vehicle in a long time. Something you don't see every day. Cows. Kind of tucked away in a little swampy area. Look closely, they're down there. Resembles a swampy area, but no water. All right, bike house. Antique fuel pump here in front of this little teeny tiny former station. There's a car over there under that, under that tree. Maybe it ran out of gas because this place was closed. This is Uniontown, where the dogs run wild. Lots of dogs. Fire truck over there near the woods. Still has the light on top of it and everything. And not far from there, you can read the water tower peeking up over the roof line. Fawnsdale. This is pretty much the entire downtown. Right here. Best I can tell, the fire department isn't even active at this point, unless they move to another location. This section's a little bumpy. Did their best to patch up the potholes. Shit. Still a rough ride. Look straight down that avenue of branches. There's a mansion tucked away back there. No one living in it. It's like something out of a movie. That driveway is. And the house, also. Sitting somber and quiet. Kinda out here in the middle of nowhere. Pulling into Livingston now, which will be the last of our stops in this state. Named after the Secretary of State under President Andrew Jackson on January 10th, 1835 the town was incorporated. The courthouse you can faintly hear a train going by off in the distance. It might not seem like much but this little pump system has a huge historical significance. In that spot, an artesian well was completed in 1857. People began to claim that the mineral water had medicinal value. So this whole area became very popular as a health spa. In 1904, the water quit overflowing and the hand pump was added. Very interesting. However, in 2005, a geological survey came to the conclusion that the water was not fit for consumption. So yeah, you, you're taking a big chance by drinking out of that thing. So much driving today that kind of lost track of time. Finally stopping for a bite to eat. Sweet tea, got to do that when in Rome. And a little barbecue will be happening. These are my options. Smoking South BBQ is the name of the establishment. Just waiting for my food and then I'm gonna chow down. Is there such thing as too much sauce? I don't like to drench it, but I like to put just a, put enough on there where you can taste it for sure. When it comes to sides, this is what we're dealing with. Beans, mac and cheese, potato salad, oh yeah. 
You know you're having fun when you forget to eat until it's almost nightfall. Mm. That is a rather large mound of fire ants. Should I just... I guess that's fire ants, right? Let me... Oh yeah, check it out. Didn't disturb them too much, but they are active down in there. Gosh, if I had to put my foot deep down in that, there'd be like a hundred thousand of them. Instead, there's only like maybe 20 or 30 there at the top, but they're scurrying around. You don't want those things biting you. Not at all. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future endeavors, adventures in my life, as well as uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further. Ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. We are two days in to this cross-country journey. Eight states, not counting Florida, not counting the ending point of California, but those eight in the middle, I will be documenting each and every day in a separate vlog. It's quite the challenge going from state line to state line. Tomorrow, we're gonna venture into Mississippi. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -S -S -I -S -S -I is waiting. Not, not very far from where I'm standing now. It's almost starting to get dark enough. I really don't need these. I'll see you guys in the next video, which means tomorrow the vlog is over. <laughs>